<clears throat> so the Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments of the United States uh, Constitution. <clears throat> um, the next slide is looking at what those 10 amendments are. We will look at those specifically at the beginning of next week. Uh, the ratification process uh, became more of a, <clears throat> a difficulty because of um, the basic idea that uh, we had a split between the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists. Uh, the Federalists specified that the Constitution be ratified by special conventions um, in each of the states, not by state legislatures. Um, this was kind of a, an interesting move since state legislatures were populated with political leaders who would lose power under the Constitution. Um, but still, that's what was uh, pushed for. Uh, the Constitution itself does specify that nine states approved the document before it was implemented. Um, Delaware was the first state uh, in 1787, December of 1787, and the, the ninth state six months later was New Hampshire. Um, and it's, it was official uh, six, in six months. Um, as far as constitutional change is concerned, um, formal amendments uh, were how the Constitution would be changed. So formal amendments could change the written language of the Constitution. And this is the process that you see. Uh, this is a graphic straight out of your book. Um, but the informal process uh, is looking at judicial interpretation. Um, the changes were informally made um, as well as uh, formally. As far as flexibility and the importance of flexibility, the document is very vague, uh, in which we're still talking about the Constitution. It is short, uh, fewer than 8,000 words. Uh, it does not prescribe every detail, uh, but it does um, give flexible language so future generations can determine their own needs. <clears throat> In summary, uh, three basic statements here, but the Constitution is ratified to strengthen congressional economic powers, even with disagreements over issues of equality, uh, protection of individual rights guaranteed through the Bill of Rights, and then formal and informal changes continue to shape our Mad Madisonian uh, system of government. The United States Constitution, again, is a unique document, <clears throat> one that we will take a closer look at uh, at the beginning of next next week as far as uh, the organization and uh, the amendments that have been made uh, to the Constitution. <clears throat>